Happy Friday. How are you? Say this with me. The rest of my life is the best of my life. And the best of my life is the rest of my life. Do you believe that? I believe that. That the rest of my life is the best of my life. Hey, today is offering day. Today's the day we help send this message around the world. Don't forget when you do your offerings today, call me because I want to speak the blessing over you. The blessing. We're teaching out of the blessing book today. We're going to talk about how to take our life to a higher level. Would you like to live your life on a higher level? I guarantee you, you can get to a higher level this year. That by the end of this year, you can say, I'm living on a higher level. That's what I want to do. I want to take you up. I want to take you up to a level where it's actually, that level is called the promised land. It's pr the promised land. For years, I said, I'm standing on the river, waiting to go across. Now I'm across. I want to take everybody else across too. Go to my website, increasenow.com. My phone number is there. If you need prayer today, call me because we get prayers answered. Also, do your donations and offerings there. Most people do. And call me because I want to speak the word for word blessing over you at the same time. Also, while you're there, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Amen. We've got over 1,100, like 1,140 videos in there. And they're all free. And it all is word of faith, spirit-filled, advanced teaching. Everybody tells me nobody is teaching like this. So glory to God, it's all there. It's all free. Get this book, The Blessing. Go to Amazon and get this. Amen. I want to talk to you about living your life on a higher level. <clears throat> we have gone up several levels in the last 10 years. 10 years ago, probably, this is, yeah, 10 years ago, 2009, 2008, six in that area, we were living month to month. I mean, month to month. That is what we call wilderness living. Believing right down to the last day of the month for money to pay the rent. And I mean to tell you, it was tight. No money left over. Some of the bills had to be postponed. But we got them paid. Amen? But we that's how we lived. It just it was a constant struggle. Not no more. Because <clears throat> we went to a higher level. What I did was I got rid of the spirit of poverty. That spirit of poverty that was hindering our life. It was keeping us from receiving from God. It was keeping us from moving up a level in our life. If you've got that going on in your life right now, you just feel like, like something is blocking your blessing. There's a spirit of poverty in there. There's a, a spirit. It's called the curse of the law. It brings with it spirits of poverty, spirits of lack, spirits of failure. All kinds of spirits come in there with it, and we can break that. I'm telling you, it is so easy to get people to move up a level. <clears throat> and that's what we want to do, is get you up a level. <clears throat> we got a hold of this. When I realized, I was reading this book one night, and they were talking about curses. And I realized that I had a curse of poverty in my life. <clears throat> and the Lord dropped it in my spirit that my grandfather had cursed my dad financially. Now, grant my grandfathers, my family on both sides were very well off, very well off. But my dad wasn't. He struggled all his life for his finances. And I never, 
understood why. I guess I never thought too much about it, but so did I. My brother, on the other hand, did not. Things came easy to him. He had successful businesses, several of them. A Dairy Queen. And believe me, Dairy Queens make a ton of money. He had one. And he did very well. Lived in one of the biggest houses in town. I mean, from the time he was in his, in his early 20s, he was successful. Had a great job. Made probably twice as much as anybody else in town. I, he was the number one salesman in a big company. That's big. But me, I struggled. Everything I did, I would come up with these great ideas. I would get involved with great people. And I didn't prosper. I wasn't successful. I sold cars. I was a great car salesman. But my money went right through me. The money that I made. I mean, I would have a great month and sell a lot of cars and get a big paycheck and be broke on the first day of the next month. Trying to get caught up on the bills. My whole life was like that. And finally, I realized about 12, maybe <clears throat> 13 years ago, I don't remember exactly what it was. The Lord showed me, he just dropped it in my spirit that my granddad had cursed my father. And this was late at night when I got a hold of this. And everybody else in the house was, <clears throat> was in bed. I went outside, stood on the road, and I said, in the name of Jesus, I break that curse of poverty in my life. <clears throat> I felt like somebody had reached down and lifted a heavy, wet blanket off of me. I mean, I actually could physically feel lighter. It was, oh, <clears throat> put a heavy wet blanket on you, walk around for a couple hours, and then have somebody pull it off. It's a huge relief. That's, I, I didn't realize, I didn't realize I had all that extra weight. It was the crushing Python weight of poverty and debt. I mean, a crush, crush, like a big snake wrapped around you, and all of a sudden it lets loose. You, whoa, that feels good. That's how it felt. A few months later, the Lord started to show me what I needed to do to increase. I did. Amen. It took me a while to get there. It took me probably five years or so to get there because I didn't know how to do this, people. I, I had to learn step by step how to get across the river and live in the promised land, how to claim my inheritance. The blessing of Abraham is our inheritance. Galatians 3.29. If you be Christ, you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise, which is the blessing. That blessing was my inheritance. I didn't even know it, and I didn't know how to get it. Just like so many people out there do not realize that this blessing, the blessing, not a blessing, not a few blessings, but the blessing of God belongs to you. It's your inheritance. From Father Abraham. I didn't know it. And when I found it out, I was happy, but I didn't know how to get it. Now, people have been writing books on the blessing. And they tell you all about it. And every one of those books are wonderful. They're great. But what they don't tell you is how to get it. This one does. <clears throat> We got a guy in our church. Reads this book. Constantly reads this book. This is the first one we wrote. He was in our church when we published it. He got a hold of it. Started reading it. Got the blessing. He reads this book all the time. He is at the very top 
of his profession. He's in the top 10% of all the people in his profession nationwide. That's huge. That's huge, people. He wasn't before, let me tell you. He was in the bottom 10%. We are way up as far as Rhema graduates are concerned, we're actually in the top 1% of successful Rhema pastors and graduates. In the top 1%. And I say glory to God for that. And it's not because I'm smarter than everybody else, but I am pretty smart. It's not because I figured out anything other people don't know. No, it's because the blessing of the Lord came upon me. That is what put me over the top. That is what raised me up to be in this position. Glory to God. We minister to a lot of pastors out there. And praise God. Praise God. And a lot of people. We have a worldwide prayer ministry. I answer the phone. This is the only large ministry in the country where the minister's personal cell phone number is at the top of the page. People get miracles over the phone. Miracles follow us all the time. Of course, that's been going on for 30 years. That's, that's an anointing for, for healing and to perform miracles. That's an anointing to do that. That came on me 30 years ago. But even though miracles were going on in my ministry, and even in my life, I was still broke and very unsuccessful, struggling every week, every month to pay the bills. Not no more. Not no more. Now, I literally, people living on this level are not believing God for anything. Everything just comes to us. And there's people like this. Copeland doesn't spend a lot of time believing God for things. He has everything he needs. Everything comes to him. I want you to get on a level where you don't have to believe God for the rent. You don't have to believe God for a good week. You don't have to believe God for this or believe God for that. You just know it's there. And you know it's going to happen. I want to get you to that level. You call me today. I know how to do this. Amen. We're going to build your faith for this. But I know the shortcuts. Glory to God. Huh? Hallelujah. Share this, please. Share this video with everybody you know. There is no reason for anybody to live sick and broke. Not when we know what we know. And believe me, I am shouting it from the rooftops. This is something, you know, some people, bless their hearts, the Jewish people got a hold of this. They don't tell nobody. They keep it to themselves. I don't. I am shouting it from the rooftops. You can have the blessing of God upon you. You can live your life life on a much higher level. Hallelujah. Don't forget, today's offering day. You call me when you do your offerings today because I want to speak the blessing over you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hey, go out there today. Have a wonderful day. I'm out of time. I will see you right back here again tomorrow. I love you very much. And may God bless you. The Lord bless you and keep you today. Amen.